Hey everybody, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble these adorable little book boxes using the new Fairy Tale Christmas Kit, which will be available for purchase beginning October 1 from Paper Tray Ink. So these adorable little boxes are the perfect size to hold either a gift card or other small treats. You can also add the optional little shaker detail on the front or leave it plain and just keep it simple. These were made using pattern papers from the, the Fairy Tale Christmas kit, but you can also create them out of just stamps and plain paper. There are all of the stamps included in the stamp set that you would need to recreate these out of just plain paper. There are the little book spine details that's all included in the in the stamp set as well as some sentiments that fit along the spine. Uh, there's these adorable little hardware dies which can be used to embellish and then there's this little die for the little closure and there's some magnets in the trimmings kit that you can use to create that little closure. So let me go ahead and just walk you through the assembly of one of these little book boxes. The box portion is made using this die. Uh, this die is not included in the kit. It was actually included in the All Through the House kit, which was released, I think, three years ago. So for that reason, we did not include it in the kit because I know a lot of our, our kit customers are repeat customers, and so you probably already own it. If you do not own it, we are going to be offering it for sale separately, individually, from the kit. Um, there is also going to be a template for it, a printable template for it. If you don't have it and don't want to purchase it, you can use the printable template that will be included in the download when you purchase the kit. And you can print your own and just cut them by hand. So there's a few options there as far as the box portion for the kit. Included in the kit is the, the book cover die, which is this die. Uh, you can use it. There are several pre-printed options included in the paper pad. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can also cut it from just plain cardstock and embellish your own using the stamps and individual detail dies from the kit. So that's a really fun die. You can also embellish it for be beyond the holidays. You can do just about any season, just depending on how you choose to decorate that front cover and uh, the details that you decide to put on it. So there is the option of putting a shaker element onto the front of the little book boxes and you can do that using these shaker maker dies that are included in the kit. And to do that, just go ahead and use the smallest scallop die and cut that directly from your cover for your book box. And then you're going to need a couple other elements as well cut using these circle dies. There are two different scene dies circle scenes included in the kit. There is the little Santa sleigh and then also just a cute little house. So you can choose one of those to use in your shaker element and you'll want to combine that with this medium plain die that is in the kit as well. And then Save this because you can use that as a backer for um, your shaker element. So let's just so let me just go ahead and show you how you would assemble this if you wanted to add the shaker element to the front cover of your book box. I'm going to take my scene circle and just add some adhesive around that solid edge, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to one of the one and a half inch bubbles from the kit. These are also going to be available for purchase separately as well. Once I have that on the back side of the bubble, I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive around the front ring of that bubble and just go ahead and drop that right in to that window cutout. I already have that cut out of the of the cover of my book box using that smallest scallop die. So I'll just go ahead and add that. And then you're going to want to, of course, add a little snow and some sparkles or whatever else you'd like to put in there. You just need a pretty much just a pinch of snow. You can add some of the sequins from the trimmings kit or whatever you'd like to that little shaker.
then I, I saved this. This was the cutout from the front cover. So I went ahead and I saved that so that I can drop that back in as a backer. It's a little bit larger than the cutout. So that I can go ahead and add that back to the back side of that. And I'm just going to look on the front to make sure that I have it centered. You don't have to use this uh, same, the pattern paper cut out from that. You can just use, you know, like a solid circle. But if you want your backing to match up with the front cover, that's kind of a fun look, you can go ahead and save that and just use that as your backer. And then to kind of clean this up on the inside, I'm going to add a large circle to just kind of cover up all of that on the inside. And you could just even go ahead and stamp a sentiment or something on this portion as well. You can do a to and from, or you could do, there's some kind of cute little um, additions to the sentiments in the set. There are the main sentiments like this, and then there's kind of some cute little punny uh, smaller sentiments that you can add to it. So that would be kind of fun stamped on the inside here as well if you'd like to do that. So that's how that works. Just really pretty simple to add that shaker element to the front covers. So now I want to show you how to actually assemble the box and add a magnetic closure. So I already have my box portion assembled. They're really easy to put together. Just fold the flaps and adhere. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the base, the bottom of that box and add that to my cover. Just center it and line it up with the score line. Just like that. Okay. And you can choose to embellish the cover however you'd like. I have a uh, die cut frame that I embossed with some gold embossing color I stamped with the matching uh, de decorative holly frame and embossed that with gold and then I've also cut some of the hardware elements from Lux Gold cardstock and I'm just going to layer that over the top and you can keep it as simple as you'd like or, or get as um, crazy as you'd like with the embellishing it's totally up to you so now we're going to go ahead and add this flap. There's a die for this as well, and also for this little hardware strip right here. So I'm going to put some adhesive on this larger tab. The um, little decorative bar here goes on that smaller flap, and then this little bit larger flap is what you're going to want to adhere to the back side of the box, just like that. Now to add a magnetic closure, what I like to do, there's magnets included in the trimmings kit. There's these little disc magnets, which are nice and flat and really easy to hide, but they are pretty strong. And so I don't like to have them adhere directly to each other. So what I like to do is I'll put one on the back side of that cover and just center it. You can use this if you're using the frame this is a little good little guide that's going to be right in the center. So I'll just add that there and then I'll take a second magnet and I'll just kind of let it let it find its place there by dropping it onto the other one and I'll put a little bit of adhesive there and then just close that up and you might just just give it a minute or two for it to adhere. Keep your thumb there with a little pressure and give it a couple of minutes or a minute or so for that glue to attach really well and it'll be right in the right place for you. Once that glue is nice and dry, you can go ahead and just open and close that little magnetic closure. It holds everything in place. And then the inside is the perfect size for a gift card or some small treats or some cash or whatever you'd like. One last thing I wanted to show you before I go is that there is also a template included in the download when you purchase the kit for creating a larger version of the book box, which is perfect to hold larger gifts or treats or also a card set. 
You can see here I created one using the template. I've stamped some elements on the spine and also uh, there are some quarter sheet of pattern paper prints included in the pattern paper and you can trim those down and use those on the front cover of the box and I've also used the decorative hardware dies. There are some large bubbles included. Uh, we used the one and a half inch bubbles for the small books but there are some two and a half inch bubbles included as well and those are perfect for using on these larger book boxes. And you can see here I've put a set of cards inside which really just match so fun with the front cover. I've used this house scene die and then I also used the uh, three step stencils. These are being sold separately from the kit but they do coordinate and it just makes a really for a really finished neat looking uh, gift card set. All right, so thanks for watching this little how-to using the new Fairy Tale Christmas Kit, which will be available for purchase beginning on October 1st from Paper Tray Inc. And it is a limited edition kit, so get yours while it lasts. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.